knowing how to fall is maybe the most important skill you can have as a skater. Here you can see me falling and you see like first my left hand takes over the shock, then my right arm, but my arms are not straight or bent. And then I roll onto my back and I lift my head. I think that's a pretty good fall. I did not scratch myself, I did not get hurt, and no problem there. Uh, in my previous video about how not to fall, I did show one example of myself falling. And there you can see like, I fell like in a very different way. I fell on my knee and then on my wrist. You have to distribute the energy, right? Because if you fall with straight arms, you just land on your wrist like this, it can very easily break. Even with a, even with a wrist scar, it's a terrible idea to fall just with straight arms right on your wrist. You want to distribute the fall, make it soft. But still there's one bad thing about uh, my example. A viewer JDMS sled pointed this out, so I fell straight. You saw my first example, my real fall, I rotated because I want to protect my face and my head. You don't want a face plant, right? So that's why it's a good idea, always try to rotate. Always try to get the fall like distributed onto your shoulder and your back and head up. I think that's... I think I can safely say that this is a general rule. Like every fall is different, of course, every fall is different. So you cannot just always do the same and it's all about instincts and experience. The number one rule should be protect your head. Number two could be protect your joints and your, your bones from breaking, of course. And the third, you don't want to scratch yourself either. I can tell you about a long time ago, I fell while I was like filming up like this, so I didn't watch the road. This is a terrible idea. Always watch where you're going, right? That's a, that should be the number one rule of skating. But anyway, so I was filming here, I didn't watch. So, and one skate got stuck, it was a nut or a leaf or a branch or something like that. And the other one also got stuck at the same time. And then there's nothing you can do except go on a dive. So same, same thing applied. I didn't break a bone or anything. But I did hit the ground with my hand, my other hand, my knee. I didn't wear protection, so they all started bleeding, but not too bad. But the worst part is my head. My head touched the ground as well. Thankfully, 95% of energy was already absorbed by my arm, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like any critical fall or anything. And I did wear helmets, so nothing bad happened. But I did scratch the helmet quite bad. I still have a, not on this helmet, but the previous helmet, I have a big scratch right here from that fall. But even then, I tried to rotate. That's, that's the instinct. That's what you should do, of course. So the scratch on, on the side, not on the face. And by being on, falling on the side like this my nose and my teeth were protected. Another important topic is should I wear protective gear or not? I'm a sinner in that sense, I don't always wear. So it's up to you as well, whether you want. I don't want to tell you what to do or not to do. But for example now, I wear this pretty much all, all the time now because it also allows me to take more risks. This is a good and a bad thing, right? Because you wear more protection and then you take more risks. But from the other point of view, if you're just aware that, okay, I wear protection, it saves me to some extent, but not fully, then I think that's the best way to go. Like, okay, I wear protection, it's safer for me, but I'm still very afraid of falling because I know that no matter what, it's always dangerous to fall. So how can you learn how to fall? Like, one is to learn from experience, but it's a pretty painful experience, right? So you don't want to fall just for sake of learning how to fall. Inline skating is brutal because you're on asphalt, you're on concrete, you're on like this very hard, rough surfaces. So if you play some other sports like football, soccer, basketball, ice hockey, ice skating, any kind of ice skating, it's better to fall, learning how to fall on those games during those sports. Or if you as a kid were playing out a lot, I'm sure you already have a lot of experience from falling anyway. One idea is if you don't wear protective gear, at least you can wear jeans. They will not offer any shock absorption at all, but if you fall and you slide, you can kind of slide it off with your jeans. Unless the speed is very high, of course, then the jeans won't work. So a tip while you fall, don't panic. So if you panic and you get all stiff, right, like that's when you break your legs or your arms, your bones. So if you get all stiff, that's when you break your bone. Like you fall and you're just landing straight like this. It's a terrible idea. You want you want the landing to be a bit soft and you want to, to distribute it between your arms and your legs. 
and your back if you can do that. It's, so usually when I fall, it's not like now I'm on skates and now I fall. It's like usually like I get out of balance and then I have some time to kind of like reduce the fall, right? So for example, I, I jump and sometimes when I jump, I get with my bounce wrong. I've, I'm on my back. So I know I will fall, but then I kind of take out this leg and it it absorbs, it actually slows me down a lot. So it's like a T-stop, but I know I will fall eventually. So then I kind of end up like this and then I rotate and then eventually I just end up on the ground like that. So it's not a big, not a, not a terrible fall, although the speed could be quite high just because I, I'm able to like postpone the fall that I know will come and while postponing it I rotate and I use like this drag to kind of absorb most of the energy before I hit the ground. I also like slowly get lower and lower before I fall as well so there's less potential energy. Which puts us to the physics lesson, yeah. Okay, you can, you don't need to watch anymore, this is it. No, I told you all, all I have, want to tell you. I'm just a physics geek as well, so I have to tell you this lesson. So, the first law of thermodynamics is energy never appears or disappears out of nowhere. So, you, the skater, you carry two kinds of energy with you. Potential energy is a gravitational energy that is in your body when you fall. Even if you're standing still, you still have potential energy. So, and then I can illustrate with this puck. So you see, the, the potential energy in this puck, it's, it follows a formula. It's mass, so the mass of the puck, I don't know how much it is, like a few hundred grams, times the gravitational pull, that's a constant, times the height. So at hip height, it's half the energy of head height, because the, it's high, twice higher up here. So it means that one kilogram of ass has half the energy of one kilogram of brain. And that's also why you're standing still. If you fall on your ass, it's not that big an impact, or on your knees. But when you fall, if you're standing still and you fall on your head, it can be pretty bad, even if you don't have any speed at all. So when I, and, and actually when I drop this puck, you can just hear. Ah, it didn't sound that bad, but if it were a brain falling, and your brain should have a little bit more mass than a puck, probably, maybe, and it hits the ground at 20 kilometers an hour. So just that impact on its own is pretty bad. So you never want to fall on your head, even if you're standing still. That's why you can put your skates in a V or a T or an L or whatever it's called, so that you are stuck, you cannot fall anyway. Now, so, the kinetic energy is the energy you carry because of your speed. And it's kind of interesting because the formula for kinetic energy is half times your mass times your speed squared. So what does it mean squared? It means that when you double your speed, you quadruple the energy. If you triple your speed, the energy goes up nine times. And this is why going downhill or speed skating at high speeds is a lot more dangerous when it comes especially to, to like these scratches while you just fall on the ground and you get like a shoulder rash because you fall. So speed kills they say and it's true. So if anything have respect for downhills. Yes pro have respect so a final word is that every fall is different. It's very difficult to give some kind of advice for how we should always fall, but if you can just make it softer, but not too soft in a way that it distributes, you distribute the weight and you protect your head and you try kind of try to roll as a, like a turn or a roll to protect your face. I think that those are kind of universal advice. And the rest is about experience and maybe one more advice. Watch aggressive skate videos. All the aggressive skaters, they fall, and many of them also show it on videos. And they almost never get hurt either, because they fall all the time. It's like the most important part of their sport is knowing how to fall without getting hurt. They have years experience. They've fallen hundreds of thousands of times. So you can learn a lot from watching them. Okay, I hope this clarified a lot about falling, and I hope you are ready to I hope you won't fall.
But if you do fall, I hope you will not get hurt. So, have a nice day.